Zombie in Love by Callie DiPuccio. This is Mortimer. Mortimer is a zombie. Ooh, brains. A zombie. Mortimer was lonely. <laughs> lonely. Cupid's ball was just a few weeks away and he didn't have a sweetheart. Someone he likes. Oh, he tried, but somehow the ladies didn't appreciate Mortimer's affections. He gave the girl at the bus stop a fancy box of chocolates. Can you see? There are little worms inside the chocolate. <laughs> He gave the mail carrier a shiny red heart. Hmm. And he gave the waitress at the diner a stunning diamond ring. Can you see? There is still a finger. Poor Mortimer. He read books and followed all of the advice. He took his dog for a walk in the park. He worked out at the gym. He even took ballroom dancing lessons. But nothing he did seemed to impress the girls. Then Mortimer got an idea. He plays an ad, an ad, in the newspaper. Mortimer was sure this was the answer. Tall, dead and handsome. If you like taking walks in the graveyard and falling down in the rain, if you're not into cooking, if you have half a brain, if you like waking up at midnight, horror films and voodoo, then I'm the guy who you've looked for and I'm dying to meet you. Saturday, Cupid's Ball, Punch Ball, 7 p.m. On Saturday, he shopped for a new suit in the funeral home. Oh dear. He combed his hair. There is his coup. And he put on his best cologne. I think he used a cleaning product as a cologne. Oh dear, Mortimer. Cupid's ball was hopping. Look, all the people are happy. They are dancing. Couples. Were dancing and laughing and, well, having a ball. Mortimer took his place near the punch ball and waited and waited and waited he doesn't look very happy he looks very sad now each time a girl approached the table Mortimer would smile 
like this. Oh dear. And each time the girl would shriek and run away. He tried breath mint. Oh, Mortimer has a bad breath. Mm. He tried handing out roses. But look, the rose is all dead and there is a worm inside. He tried being funny. Nothing worked. As the night wore on, the room began to empty. Look, there are not many people. Many people have gone home. The punch bowl did not. Suddenly it became clear to Morma that nobody was dying to meet him. He began to shuffle toward the exit. When he heard a loud thud, the thud was followed by an even louder crash. Mortimer turned around. There on the floor was a girl. Her name was Mildred and she was drop-dead gorgeous. She smiled like this. Mildred stood up and shook the pineapple rings from her hair. Am I too late? she asked. The clock struck midnight. You're right on time, said Mortimer. Look, he seems to like her. And she seems to like him. Mortimer and Mildred danced and held hands and dined in by the moonlight. They are eating their dinner. It was love at first bite. Look, they even got married. The end.